Romeo, come on. Come on. Come on. And try out. Careful guys, careful. <laughs> careful. <laughs> right, Elfie, you ready? Because we're going to go and do some music. Come on, we're going to do some music. Come on. Right, so, um, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good catching. So, just got to stick his boots on, get them loaded, and we're going to go over to Amber's to try out some music so that I can let. Amanda know what we're going to choose for our music for the elementary level test that we want to put together for the Iberian Performance Show class. So yeah, I'm in a bit of a rush because I'm running late as usual, but um, anyway, good boy coming in very nice and quick. <laughs> So we finished our music and um, I'm really pleased because Elf has had a bath. Um, I really struggle because I don't have a hose. Um, I just have literally a trough at my field and it's really difficult to keep him clean. And he's been really, really itchy and itching out his mane in the hot weather. So, um, what are you doing? Um, yeah, so it's been really kind of them to let me use the hose here to give him a proper wash off because, um, yeah, I just think he's been so itchy and horrible. So I'm going to keep a fly rug on him now just to try and stop him from rubbing his tail against the oak trees and stuff. And hopefully he'll stay nice and clean, won't you? Yeah? <coughs> yes. <laughs>
so it's the second day of IPS, so it's Saturday morning, and um, we um, had a nice day yesterday. We did the working excitation clinic, which was really fun. I didn't manage to get any videos because it was such a horrendous rush trying to get everything packed and ready and get there in time. I literally arrived because of the traffic um, through the new forest. It took ages longer at the beginning of our journey so we actually only arrived about 10-15 minutes before the working equitation clinic so um luckily we managed to get there in time and um yeah we've parked here um this is um where the stables are so i can actually see elfie directly from the back of the lorry which is really nice and um I'm just gonna go and get him plastered up now for the dressage because I've got dressage in about an hour and a half. So yeah, let it get going.
um, it's been a busy morning and I thought I would just do a little walk around of the show. So this is the part of the lorry park here at Merristwood. And down there, you've got the temporary stabling. And then, so the um, geldings and mares go down there in the temporary stabling. And then up here, um, there's some more stabling. I'm not sure if that's part of the show stabling or whether that's um, part of the college horses. But in this barn here, um, this is where the stallions are and some more stabling. So that's all up there. And then um, I walk up here. And then straight ahead, you've got the big main arena. So that's where most of the classes are. And then as you go around to the left, there's a warm up. So I'll show you that again in a second. Yeah, just if you're thinking of coming next year as well, they also have this epically massive mountain block, which is really handy. So you don't have to worry about bringing a mountain block with you, especially if you're getting on in the Spanish tack, which is, um, can be a bit difficult sometimes and uh, yeah so just around here this is where the office is and this is the big warm-up arena and also where they do some of the showing classes just up here so yeah and then you've got the secretaries area and then this is where you get in to the show mm -hmm.
Um, I'm really happy it's raining. I don't know how much you can see of my fields there, but they are completely brown. Um, it's, this is the first rain we've had for the best part of a month, I would say. Um, and it's a real nice dr heavy drizzle as well, so hopefully it will actually soak into the ground. Um, so yes, and uh, the, the horses are there behind me with the remnants of the round veil that I left in the field so that Mel, my friend who was looking after the girls while I was away with Elf, um, so she didn't have to cart hay around, um, but they've been using it as a nice mattress and um, pooing in it, which is lovely, so they've wasted a little bit, but anyway, um, it was quite nice to see Elf completely sparkle laid out on it at about eight o'clock in the morning yesterday. Uh, he was literally flat out on his side, like snoring his head off, so recovering from his very busy weekend away. So um, yeah, so just a little sum up of the IPS. Um, it was a bit stressful in the lead up. I, I was trying to do my music. Amanda, my friend, was helping me um, and sent me a floor plan, but for some reason it, it rode very long for Elf. So I recorded it on a video, hoping to put the music together. Um, and um, yeah, basically by the time I'd edited that, it took um, quite a, well, it took quite a lot of time to do that, and then I had to then take two minutes out of it, which meant I had a last minute kind of mess around with the, with the floor plan, um, had to re-record the floor plan, and it was still slightly too long, even after I'd taken out a few bits. So um, I then had to just crop on my video to try and estimate where I could lose a couple of seconds here and there to get below the um, 
time it needed to be and then edit the music to that. So I didn't actually get a chance to ride through to the music in real time in an arena before the actual day. So um, that wasn't ideal. But anyway, um, the actual test went really well, apart from we got two wrong left canter leads, which kind of balls it up a bit really. Uh, and we lost quite a few marks for that, but we did get 65% and we got some really good marks for the artistic interpretation and um, you know the choice of music and things like that so um yeah so i'm really glad because that went really well and i think we had we've got a good basis to work from ongoing with the music and rafael soto who is the um olympics team rider for spain uh he was actually watching our test and i had a lesson with him in november and he apparently said to my friend who stood next to him oh i recognize this horse and um oh it's such a lovely horse and they're looking really confident together and you know the canter issues will come in time it's not a problem um but yeah he was really apparently enthusiastic about how nicely Elf was going and how he looked compared to how he'd seen us in November so you know that means a lot more to me than a dressage school to be honest and I was really pleased about that. Um, in the novice dressage he did a nice test actually and we got 65% in that as well um, so I was yeah I was pleased with that he got his counterleads right and we rode there wasn't really anything to report on that one to be honest just a couple of moments where he came above the bit and wasn't quite as round as he should have been but um, you know, generally it was relatively um, trouble free, so that was good. Um, and we were literally like 0.2 of a mark out of the placings in a big class on that, so um, yeah, bit of a shame we didn't get a rosette for that, but, but never mind. Um, and then the best highlights for me were when we arrived on Friday, we did the working equitation clinic, that was such good fun. Um, Alexandra Downing, she's on the GB working equitation team and she's such good fun and so positive she absolutely loves Elf and thinks he's really got some talent for the working equitation um, we just need to practice gates because we really struggle with the gate he gets very sort of restless and doesn't stand still and moves away when I lean over to grab the um, rope to open it and stuff so um, yeah that's a bit of a um, a bit of a tricky one um, but we will work on that. But otherwise, yeah, he did really, really well in the working equitation and was very, very um, relaxed and happy in there and seemed to really enjoy it. So that was good. Um, so yeah, that was a big highlight. And also we did the novice parade class, which is the class where you all dress up in your traditional costumes. And it's very busy. There were a lot of horses in there, um, but we came third and he behaved really, really well. He had one tiny little blip towards the end when we stopped. And I, I think when he stopped, doing his uh, shoulder ins and showing off and doing all of his moves in front of the judges um, and everybody sort of was standing a bit more still. He suddenly noticed the massive crowd of people sat on the bank at the end and had a little bit of a moment, but nothing nothing too bad. And, um, and so, yeah, we still got pulled in third by the judges for that. So I was really, really pleased about that because that's the first time we've done the parade class in our Spanish tack. Um, and then we did the ridden gelding class on Sunday morning. I'm not gonna lie, I had quite a few drinks on Sunday night because I really wanted to let my hair down and my friend Amanda's husband, Peter, was there with his duo doing some music. Um, and there was a lot of entries in the pre-gelding class, um, which was the ridden class. I think there was, I don't know, it was like 12 or something like that. It might have even been more than that. But to be honest, um, there were some very, very quality horses in there and I was not feeling tip top and I find these showing shows when you end up standing in a line and it's a bit more the English style showing where you do the individual show each and then waits for everybody to do that individual show and because it was the last class we did he was just quite tired and I think we were both I was a bit hungover and he was just not really feeling it either tired and we wanted to go home so we didn't really um, probably do our best in that but it didn't matter, it was still a good experience to go in there and um, yeah, there was uh, one of my friends was in there with her horse doing her, um, it was her first show with him this year as well and she did brilliantly so it was really nice to watch them go around. So um, yeah, and all in all I'd say it's such a lovely show, everyone is really really friendly. Um, I did go last year and I found it friendly as well but um, I think maybe where I know a few more people and I've had people make friends with me on Facebook through the Spanish horses and 
um, you know I've got chatting to them a bit on Facebook so I know a few more people now and a lot of people I hadn't actually met in person turned up and were like oh hi Bex how's it going and you know that was really lovely and it's such an encouraging show where everybody helps each other out and you know if you've got a problem with a horse there's always somebody experienced on hand to help you um, and it's no pressure it's just a very nice atmosphere and it's really fun so if you've got an iberian horse i would really really um check it out next year and if you get the chance to do one of the working equitation clinics with alex then really recommend that as well it's great fun any horse can do it you don't have to have an iberian to do working equitation um and it's uh yeah it's just something a bit different and it's really a nice way to mix up your training so anyway i hope you enjoyed our little um visit to the Iberian performance show and uh, yeah we will uh, see where we go from here I think we've probably got some dressage coming up soon and I'm going to try and do a bit of jumping so we will see what happens okay see you soon bye